Hi everyone, I'm Bella and welcome to my show this week. This week, I'm talking to you about increasing your level of faith. Now the Bible tells us that it's impossible to please God without faith. But then it also goes on to say that faith is the substance of things unseen. So, for me, that would actually suggest that unseen means a supernatural and not this natural world. The things that we can touch in our sensories is the natural world. So, faith is a supernatural substance. Funny about that. So, I'm wondering where your level of faith is today because the Bible also tells us that we have, we have faith as small as a mustard seed. We can say to a mountain, be removed into the sea and it would happen. Now, I don't know about you, but I haven't been commanding any mountains into the sea. But mountains can also be things that are happening in your life, circumstances that feel like mountains or molehills. You're able to speak to them under the authority of the Lord Jesus and cast them into the sea as well. Now, Jesus, a man full of faith in the Holy Spirit, was able to order the natural realm and it obeyed. So I've got three examples for you today where Jesus actually made a command and natural progression followed as they obeyed him. So it's very interesting that you can actually have supernatural supremacy in this natural planet called Earth, even though Jesus is in heaven and his Holy Spirit's actually here on the ground. So the first story I have for you is the story where Jesus gets into a boat and goes to sleep with his disciples. A big storm brews up and then what happens next is the disciples are fearful for their lives. They're shaking him going, Master, Master, wake up, wake up. Can't you see we're going to drown? And what happened? He goes, he wakes up and he commands, be quiet. The sea, the waves, the storm, and to the disciples' amazement, it all went calm. Imagine that. A storm heading your way, and you command it, and it goes quiet. Interesting, hey? Is that where your faith level is today? I've got another story for you. Jesus was hungry, and he was walking with his disciples, and he saw a fig tree without any figs. And he said to it, Fig tree, you will not have any more figs. And with that word he spoke out of his mouth, that's where the power is. It actually died before the, per the disciples' eyes. The disciples were quite freaked out and they said, Wow, who is this man that even trees, the wind and the, the storms and nature obey him? And another story I have for you. It's a story about a boy who was sick. Now, there was a crowd of people, and what happened was this man came crying for mercy with Jesus. Jesus, help my son. He gets thrown demonically into fire and in water, and please pray and heal my son. I sent him to your disciples, and they could not deliver him. So Jesus said, come here, and he actually healed the boy and he was set free instantly by the words that he spoke and then he said to his disciples you have little faith what's going on here so obviously faith the disciples must have had faith in what they could touch what they could hold and what could they could see with their senses like their eyes there is all that sensory stuff in the natural realm but faith is in the supernatural realm and if you believe in your heart, so shall it be. So the word tells us if we believe in our hearts, fully faith, and we speak the words, that will happen and change the supernatural realm. So that's quite interesting. So with, the word tells us without faith, it is um, impossible to please God. So for us to please God, that means that we need to take our hands off the stuff that we trust in like our jobs, our families, our buildings, our body, all these things that will perish away one day and put our faith in a God in heaven that can save us. 
All right, I'm Bella. Have a great week and think about where your faith is at and whether you can believe God is supernatural. All right, have a great week. I'm done. Bye.